Hey, travel friends. Today on Doodle the Travel Bug, it's another installment of Graveyard Picnic, where we visit the grave of a celebrity and have an on-theme picnic. And today, our dinner guest is the legendary Andy Warhol. Andy Warhol was born and raised in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and is laid to rest in St. John the Baptist Byzantine Catholic Cemetery, just outside the city. Andy was the leading figure in the pop art movement and combined art with celebrity culture. All right, guys, graveyard picnic, everybody's favorite thing we do when we travel. Look how excited you guys are. Ooh, that's an excited face. <laughs> All right, who knows who Andy Warhol was? Uh, oh. Guy who painted Campbell's, uh, Campbell's suit. Yeah, he painted more than Campbell's suit, but he's responsible for creating, I think it's called pop art. Um, he repeated a lot of the same images, images you would see in everyday life, like Campbell's soup. And he really did love Campbell's soup. He, I think he said that he ate it like 20 years. That was his lunch, bowl Campbell's soup. So, um, so you have to guess, right? What our graveyard picnic is today. Campbell's soup. Tomato. Tomato Why, soup. Wonder, but there's a Perky Nana bar on there. What? What? Is, I've never even heard of a Perky Nana bar. I don't know. Oh, weird. Mama, mm, not good. Warms not, the soul. Yeah, warms the soul in a cold graveyard, huh, guys? Yeah. Campbell's tomato soup. And here you go, Marco. We actually got a can to. So, so guys, we have, do you remember that we have an Andy Warhol painting in the Cleveland Museum? Do you remember yeah. seeing it? Yeah. Yeah. It's not of soup though. What is it? I forget. Oh. Do you know what it is? No. I think it's Marilyn, Marilyn Monroe. Monroe. Maybe. We've seen an Elvis one at MoMA in New York. So I guess uh, pop just means, uh, uh, it's a short word for things that people like at that time. It's a really modest, like understated gravestone for somebody so famous. For more unique travel shows, like and subscribe to see where Doodlebug goes next.